Hello, I'm going to demonstrate the use and ease of the Astra 300 spirometer from SDI. Here's the case it comes in. Very small and portable spirometer. You can take anywhere in the office with you. It does not require a station. This is what it looks on the inside of the case. You got your spirometer right here, your two pulse oxes, your mouthpiece and nose clip, your wrist strap, the turbine, and two extra batteries. I'm going to show you how quick and easy it is to uh, do this test. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out of the out of the case. You'll see that it's the turbine is not installed right now. So I'm going to take this turbine and install it just like that. Basically, the uh, turbine is set from the manufacturer, so it does it does not require you to calibrate it. It is already calibrated. You can check the calibration of it to ensure that it's calibrated, but it, it, there's nothing uh, that will that you'll have to worry about in calibrating every time. So I'm going to turn it on for you. I push this little blue button down. Make sure it's oh, it's upside down. Okay. Now we have a set of options here. Now on the back is a little stylus. I'm going to take that out. So I can choose my options. For this video, I'm going to demonstrate the FVC and FEV test only. And as you can see right here in this corner at the FVC button, I want to touch that. It's going to ask me for a set of options. The ID, the first name and the last name, the male or female score, and the ethnicity factor of 0 to 100. 100 for, for Caucasians. Um, so I'm going to put, for, for example, I'm going to put under patient ID, I'm going to put 888, and then for the first name, I'm going to put, oh, that was 9, okay. I'm going to put um, my first name, which is E R I K. It's kind of hard for me to do this backwards. And then here's the little male female symbol. I want to, this is on female right now, so I'm going to touch it and change it to male. And ethnicity factor stays at 100 because I am Caucasian. Next, I'm going to hit enter. The next set of options I have, and the last set of options, is my age, height in inches, weight in pounds, if I'm a smoker, and how many years have I smoked, and how many cigarettes a day I've smoked, and the name of the technician. So in this case, uh, for the age, I'm going to put in my age, which is 27. Next, for inches in height, I'm going to put uh, 74. And next, in pounds, I weigh 200. Oop. I have to redo that one. Okay, now I'm going to do uh, put 200 for weight, and uh, I'm going to leave that zero for smoking years and cigarettes a day because I do not smoke. And then the box for the name of the technician right now uh, it says E, and that's for uh, that's the initial of my first name. I'm just going to leave it that way. Now I'm done. I'm going to hit enter. Now it is ready for me to do the test. So uh, right now. You can see this little picture of the man, a little stick figure sitting down at a looks like a desk. When I'm ready to perform the test, I put I touch this button right here. As you can see, the marker is already set on the line graph uh, for where it expects me to to uh, perform my score. Okay, now I'm going to uh, prepare the test. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this out of the package that comes in, the mouthpiece. As you can see real quick before I put that on there, it has a filter inside. So in case anything comes out of the patient's mouth, it is caught by that filter. And it comes with a clip as well. So I'm ready to do the test. I need to put the mouthpiece in the spirometer. Now I can only put it one way. On the bottom there is a little nipple right there, so I cannot get this thing in there. I can only go into the top, so it's foolproof. So now it's ready. 
I'm going to put the clip on my nose and do the test. Before I start the test, I want to let you know that with this barometer, I don't have to prepare breathing before I put my mouth on it to uh, perform the test. I can put my mouth on it and breathe slowly and prepare and breathe all the way out and get ready for my sharp in inhale to start the test. Uh, the test will start when you sharply inhale. That's how the spirometer knows to start the test. So I will demonstrate that. Okay, so now I'm going to, oops, I'm going to hit this uh, little button right here because I'm ready to start the test. Okay, now it's ready. Did you hear the beep? That means it's been six seconds from the start of the test, and that tells me that the test is, is finished. So I know to pull the spirometer out of my mouth. Now you can see there the line graph is filled out, and it's right along the markers where it expected me to perform. And up here in the corner shows a uh, kind of summary of the result of the test. Now, if I want to see a little more specifically right here on the spot, I just hit this box. And it has a full layout of all the scores of my FVC and FEV. And even at the bottom will tell me my approximate lung age. As you can see here, I was over 100% on all my values. Now, uh, if I want to have an, this device interpret it real quick for me, I have to do is uh, touch this little do doctor's face with the magnifying glass on, the, on, the, uh, on his head. And it says the interpretation is normal. So I escape. Now I want to save this. So I go over to this file cabinet, touch the file cabinet. Now I ask if I want to do if I want to save it for a pre and post bronchodilator challenge, or if I just want to save it as one single uh, test. And for in this case, I just want to save it as a single test. So I'm going to touch this file cabinet. It is now saved. If I want to view it later or send it uh, over the Bluetooth to the computer. I hit exit, hit exit again, go back to the main menu, I go to this file cabinet right here to pull it up, or, it's, or, or I click on Bluetooth right here to send, it, send all the, uh, the data over to the computer wirelessly. So that, was, that finishes my demonstration of the Astro 300 spirometer from SDI. I hope that was uh, easy for you to understand. Uh, it took a little bit longer because I had to demonstrate all the, uh, you know, the processes of using this device. But once you get it down, you should be able to do your spirometry tests in about one minute per patient.